Welcome to Gene Clips. My name is Gabrielle, and I am a genetic counselor at Children's National Hospital. Today, I will be talking about trinucleotide repeat disorders. As you might know, each gene has its own code of A's, C's, T's, and G's. Each of these letters is called a nucleotide. Certain genes are coded with a specific set of three nucleotides that repeat over and over again. We call these sets trinucleotide repeats. Typically, there is a range in the number of repeats that is considered normal. Sometimes the repeat number expands out of range due to an increase in number from one generation to the next. One example of a trinucleotide repeat disorder is Fragile X syndrome. The trinucleotide that repeats is CGG in the FMR1 gene. In most people, the number of repeats is 44 or less, which is considered normal. If the number of repeats is greater than 200, the gene turns off, which leads to the symptoms associated with Fragile X syndrome. Some other trinucleotide repeat disorders are Huntington's disease, myotonic dystrophy, and other movement disorders. Some trinucleotide repeat disorders have varying signs and symptoms across multiple generations in the family. Your genetics provider will likely collect a detailed family history before ordering any testing. Diagnosis typically requires a specific method of gene testing called PCR to identify the number of repeats within a gene. It is important to work with a genetics team if you or your family member show signs of these conditions. Thank you for watching Gene Clips. Mm -hmm.